How's it going guys? Today we are going to be doing Honest Hearts, which is my least favorite DLC, but I'm glad I did this and now I never have to play it again. So come oh, over here, to talk to this guy, over. and you have a 100 pound no weight limit that you can bring to this place. Keep that in mind. I left my one of a kind plasma cannon back at base. Does it look like I left my one of a kind plasma Great cannon back at base? I'm ready. 100 pounds. Let's go. You sure you're ready now? Yes, sir. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion. Zion. Okay, guys. Now, once you come up to this part, let me just save you the time. Now, there's nothing you can do to save your friends here. Nothing at all. Enemies will just keep on spawning until they are all dead. And then just once you take out all these guys, you're going to... Come on down here and meet your first friend. Hoy, you came from outside, didn't you? Joshua will want to hear about this. He leads our tribe. I can take you to him. Before we go and see Joshua, the absolute first thing we're going to be doing in this DLC is coming to the Red Gate, and we are grabbing the best weapon in this DLC, but not only that, this is the best rifle in the game, in my opinion, and my favorite. The survivalist's rifle. Watch out for big green geckos, and then boom. This weapon also shoots a different ammo type, the 12.7 rounds, which is why it's more powerful. And yeah, just a beautiful, awesome rifle, guys. Definitely one to keep on you at all times through all playthroughs if you don't like energy weapons. All right. Now we're going to be coming to just this area right across from where we were. I'm just looking at the cliff we were standing on. And then there's just this little duffel bag hidden here. Just another decent good stash. But watch out for Kazadirs. There's a couple around the whole valley. Always be on high alert for that. And then we're coming to the crushed scout bus. See this? This is why your own and this is just to unlock it for a quest that's coming up in a little bit. Like right here, this is a quest item. You can't grab it now, but at least we'll be able to fast travel back. And then just grab this compass sensor module. And then we're going to head to this ranger substation Pedigreen. Just a little high lookout area. When you see those white paintings with the red hands, it means it's a taboo area for the tribe. And there's just a ranger hat and another gun case, which is a good stash, so can't go wrong. Okay, guys, now we're heading to the Fallen Rock Cave, where we find one of the best weapons in this whole DLC. Also a very unique weapon with a paralyzing effect, and no weapons in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 have paralyzing effects, except for this one. Just going to give you a little run through of the traps. Don't blow yourself up. Grab that. There's two mines here. I actually missed one. Be careful. And then coming around here, another tripwire. Another mine hidden under a teddy bear and some guns to disarm. And here we have uh, the first of six survival caches. And then hidden right here beside this little crate is this bad boy. Compliance Regulator. Really cool, unique weapon too. Looks like the laser detonator from the Lonesome Road DLC in a way. But yeah, guys, I love this. And then we're heading to Dead Horses Camp. And then you just want to come in here. Talk to Joshua Graham. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. See what I can Thank do to help. Grab the quest. La la la. You find your way around the valley. And then after you grab the quest from him and speak to him, then come up and trade with him. And he actually sells four new weapon mods and two new weapons that shoot 0.45 rounds 
They're pretty cool. I don't mind them. I don't really use them too much, but they're definitely cool, unique weapons. Throw the mods on. Just to give you a little showcase. It's a nice silenced pistol. And then this kind of like Tommy gun. Looks a little like the submachine gun, but I think it's stronger. And then after you do that, you want to come out the back entrance of the cave and walk to the cliff just over here by the edge of the canyon. And we have another survival cache. Alright. Now we are coming to the crash scout bus again. Fast travel, grab the compass, fix it. And then that is completed. Roadside attraction. Okay, now we're headed to the Zion Fishing Lodge. Not just following. And then you just want to come in here, a couple geckos. No match for the new pistol we picked up. And then if you don't have the lockpick skill, you can grab the key for the cabinet right here. That's just behind the bar. And then in here we have another gun cabinet. Decent stash, magazine, don't forget. And then a nice shotgun over to our left. And then finally this cabinet with the walkie-talkies, which are quest items for later. So we're just saving ourselves some time. And then we are coming to the Vault 22 dweller camp dweller guard camp where they were all slaughtered by Kazadiers apparently and there's just another duffel bag stash with another log some weapons some good stuff and now we're headed to two skies cave come on in If you have the skill, you can pick this. Well, not pick it, but repair it and get in the fast way, or you can just walk around the long way. Just be careful of traps. Those, um, what did you call them? And then once you come in here, there's just some explosives crates. Survivor logs. Bunch of good stuff. Ammo, of course. And then, last but not least, another survival cache. The good stuff. Alright, and then once you clear all this out, we are going to be headed to Ranger Station Eagle. Not too much here, nothing crazy, but you know, just another bit of crates with some ammo and some stuff upstairs. This med kit had a lot of good stuff. And then another gun case that's very hard locked to pick for what seems to be not worth it, but maybe you'll get something different than me, I'm not actually too sure about that. And now we are headed to the Eyrie. The eerie, I guess I should say. Just another place to loot. Another decent stash. Gun case. Guns and ammo, guns and ammo, right? Never too much. Okay, now we are headed to Morning Glory Cave. Come inside. Watch out for these guys. They can blend in. And then there's lots of bear traps in here hiding. So be very careful of that. Because nothing sucks more than crippled legs. And then right here we got another duffel bag with the key. To the door that is just on the other side of this cave right there. Come on inside. 
More traps, be careful. And then we got another survival cachet. The good stuff, the good stuff. And more survival logs, of course, and ammo to the right of the computer. I don't even know how to say this next one. Sierra Groche? I don't know. Anyways, come in this cave. And watch out. Lots of guys in here. No match for the survivalist rifle, though. No match at all. Put them down. Mercilessly. Alright, and you don't want to miss the explosive crates. Watch out for this mine right here. More explosive crates. And then you want to just come up this way and we got another computer with more survival logs. A footlocker with some good stuff. Gun case I guess I should say. As well as Last but not least, another survival cache. Alright guys, that's five out of six caches already. Now we're making our way to Ranger Station Osprey. Watch out for Yao Guai. Seem to be everywhere in this place. And then pick this. There's not too much in here. A bunch of crates with ammo. If you're lucky, you'll get a little more than me. And then when you come upstairs, another park ranger hat if you like, but more importantly, duffel bag. Okay guys, now we are coming to the general store. This is a very important location that you do not want to miss something. You come in here, take out all the mantises. They should be no problem for anybody. And you do want to grab the lunch boxes for the quest. A couple here. One here. I believe two back here. Move this broom out of the way. La la la. Grab that. Just gotta pick this desk here on the right. Okay, now that's all the lunch boxes, but more importantly, do not forget to come behind this desk. Look on the bottom shelf right here, and you will find the snow globe for this DLC. Honest Heart Snow Globe, which is now in the Lucky 38. Boom. And that is the last snow globe that I need to show in all my guides. Okay guys, now we're just going to be coming to the Zion Ranger Station. Again, more y'all guys. And once you come in here, take out all the rad scorps. Bit of ammo up here, nothing too crazy, but uh, there is some good stuff in these foot lockers. One of those pistols, and then grab this as the quest item. Sterilize it, replace the parts, take it, and then you complete the quest. Tourist trap. Okay guys, now we are headed to Sweet Flower Cave. But just basically the entrance of the camp for this tribe, and you'll be greeted you with this girl. Joshua Graham sent to us. Asaro's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol.
Each sorrow makes his own. Our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. And then she will give you the quest, Rite of Passage. And then once she gives you that quest, you can just head right to that cave to find White Bird. Right in here. This is probably one of my more favorite quests in this DLC. It's a little bit fun. Come and talk to this lunatic. Hola, outsider. Seek medicine plan. Return with sacred Datura root. Basically, he just wants to get you super high and make you trip out. And I could show you on the map where these are, but quest markers lead you to them, so I don't think anyone needs that much hand holding. And then come back, talk to this guy. You have He'll make you the mushroom juice. When you drink it, you start tripping hard as hell, and then we're going on a hunt. Bitter. You see? You go to cave. Find ghost of she. Lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Okay, so now we ate the shrooms. And then we're just headed to this little area to hunt the Yaogwai and teleport here, walk over, and sometimes Kazadiers can spawn too, so be extra careful and extra ready. Go for the headshots. Boom, 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 boom. And even a mantis jumped in on the fun. Everyone burst the courier as usual. Looks like. All right, make your way through the dark. cavern, and uh, you will be greeted by a flaming bear. I don't know if it's flaming or if I'm just tripping, but still no match for the courier. What the fuck is going on? Oh yeah, it's just the drugs. And then don't forget, obviously, to grab the arm. And then once you do that, you can go back and talk to White Bird. Does Ghost of She like quiet and grave? Yes. Then visions of truth. And are at an wow, end. the shrooms just wore off now, Only surprisingly. Rite of passage yes, complete. Maybe no. Only for you to decide. And then now we have She's Fist, you guys. Unique Yao Guai weapon. I think it's in the top three best melee weapons, if I'm not mistaken. Next to the Deathclaw one from the Divide and maybe the Gunrunner's Arsenal one. And then we're just headed to this cave. Stone Bones Cave. One of the most important locations on this guide. Certainly. Come in here, lots and loads of traps, be careful. Everywhere, absolutely everywhere. You do not want to miss these explosive crates. Over here we have the final survivalist cachet. Six out of six. Over here, we have the most important item, the Desert Ranger Combat Armor and Helmet. This is a super cool, unique set. And it's not NCR Faction Armor. And then, read all those and you can get the logs. And that's pretty much it for this cave. But yeah, looking sick. So it's the coolest set of armor you could get by this point when this DLC was out before the Divide Riot gear. Alright, and then after that we're just going to come and talk to Daniel. The dead horse Cleared everything up to this point. The attack on your caravan. I'm sorry. I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. What do you need? Well, I'll be. I already got we're the stuff, Daniel. We'll Don't you worry. Much less all of it. These supplies are a godsend. Try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. I'm not sure the way is clear. Okay, guys. Now, we've already done one of these areas that he's asking us to go to now, so it's just convenient that we'll be fast traveling right back. 
and our old companion left us and now we got this girl I gave her my plasma cannon and then we're greeted by Joshua by Graham who Babylon, begs us to slaughter the white down. legs instead of leave Yay, we wept when we remembered Zion given those two choices yes in the best of all possible worlds they would just leave us in peace but they won't if the sorrows leave Zion so too do the new Canaanites What's more, you'll have more white legs coming farther south. You may not be concerned over matters of faith, but this is a case where faith and practicality coincide. No one wants the white legs here. We just need to convince Daniel that it's our responsibility to ensure that doesn't happen. Okay, now we're just going back to that cave, which we've already actually looted, and back to one of these specific survival caches, because this little thing doesn't spawn until we talk to Daniel. But anyways, be careful with the Kazadars, guys. Be careful, be careful, because they're everywhere. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, now you want to just come in here. We've already been here. Come back to the survivalist cache, and then grab that map all right the grand staircase complete now this is just some optional things but this is a completionist guide right so we're going to be doing everything and we're going to be wiping out the white legs camps women and children included if there was such a thing and yeah just mercilessly clear them all out They've been bullying our boys back home at camp. And take the war totems. Okay, that's one camp. The quickest gun in the west, quickest gun in the west. Ha ha ha. And that's that. The advanced scouts complete. Okay, now this is just real quick coming over here and disarming some traps. I don't need to hold your hand. Boom, 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 boom. You'll find them. Alright. And now the treacherous road has been completed. We're headed to clear out the Yaogwai nest. Yaogwai. Even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. I've killed worse. I hope that is truth and not a boast. This is not a boast. I am better than your best hunters, obviously. I explode Yaogwai heads for breakfast. Boom. No match. Alright, now once you... Take out the Yaogwais. Don't walk around for 20 minutes thinking that you're on the wrong level. You're not. Place the charges. And then after that, just come right outside and blow that. And the quest is completed. Boom. Now we can go back and talk to Daniel. I'm glad to see you're still with us. All of the stuff you wanted is done. It. Well, that's it. That's it is right. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you It is the practical solution, Daniel, you little bitch. Okay, guys, no no going back. You click okay, leave the conversation, save your game because if you want both achievements on each side, this is the point where you want to load. But anyways, other than that, no, we're going to be why? finishing why? the story. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve. But destroying the white legs is the only way to ensure the sorrows can remain in Zion. Sure is. Show no quarter to the white legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is this a is slaughter. Ha 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 ha, let's do it. God be with you. No match for me and Joshua. Fuck the Legion. And fuck the white legs. Paralyzed. Graham finished him. She's fist. Can't leave that out. Mm. 
Nothing like the combos. Zap him, then whack him. One true punch. The one true punch. Okay, right, guys, we're going to fast forward through a bit of this because if I didn't, it would take 50 minutes. But you get the picture. Killing, looting, rampaging, pushing your way through the valley. Good vantage point. The white legs don't stand a chance. Ha 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 ha. Alright guys, now, once you make your way all the way through, and watch Joshua mercilessly execute them, then you get the chance to kill Salt Upon Wounds. Come here, take his power fist, take his helmet, Finish off his men, and that is that. It's the same end he would have met if he had died on his knees. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the White Legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. And then that's it, guys. After you do that, the ending cutscene will happen, and then you just teleport to this footlocker with the rest of the uniques that you didn't get. The ones that were worn by Daniel and Joshua. And yeah, a uh, light and sh light shining in the darkness. Chuck's hat, Daniel's hat, Daniel's outfit, Joshua Graham's armor, and the scripture, which is I guess the Bible Daniel carries around. And then this is what Joshua's gun looks like. Probably my favorite of it, out of everything, but I like them all. And yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this one, guys. I hope you liked it. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.